Hello and welcome in Studio One, coming to you live from the University of Mindanao. I'm Gabriel Kabading. Nasogastric tube feeding or NGT feeding is a type of enteral feeding method. It administers highly nutritious formula for clients with nutritional deficiencies. Medications can also be administered via a nasogastric tube. Nasogastric tube feeding is indicated to clients with swallowing issues in cases of stroke, neuromuscular disorders, critically ill clients on a ventilator, vegetative state, and or in coma. Nasogastric tube or NGT is a special tube inserted into the client's nostril to the esophagus down to the stomach in order to administer the prescribed calculated formula feed and or medications. Step 1. Check the physician's order or the dietitian's prescribed and calculated formula feed in the client's medical chart or electronic health record. Step 2. Perform hand hygiene, either washing your hands with antimicrobial soap and warm water, or perform a hand rub using a 70% alcohol-based hand gel. Step 3. Prepare the nasogastric tube feeding tray. Step 4. Go to the client's room, perform hand hygiene with 70% alcohol-based hand gel. Put on a pair of clean procedural gloves, wear a plastic apron or a gown. Step 5. Identify the client correctly. Use two identifiers before performing any clinical procedures. Identifiers are the client's name, ID, or hospital number, date of birth, and address. Also check client's history of allergy. Step 6. Explain the procedure to the client. Step 7. Put client in a semi fowler's position or high fowler's position prior to feeding. Step 8. Perform an abdominal assessment. Check for presence of abdominal distension, hypoactive or absent bowel sounds, pain, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Step 9. Check the patency of nasogastric tube. Aspirate the gastric content at least 5 to 10 mils. Then check gastric pH using an enteral feeding pH testing strip. Step 10. Flush nasogastric tube with 20 mils of water. Then administer the correct volume of prescribed calculated feeding formula. Step 11. After administering the prescribed formula feed, flush the nasogastric tube with 20 mils of water as per hospital's protocol. Step 12. Keep client in semi polars or high polars position for 1 to 2 hours. Step 13. Instruct client to notify the nurse if there are signs of feeding formula intolerances such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Step 14. Wash used materials with hospital-approved cleaning product and warm water. Keep it dry. Step 15. 
step 15. Perform hand hygiene before leaving the client's room. Use a 70% alcohol-based hand gel. Rub hands until dry. Step 16. Document the performed nasogastric tube feeding procedure. Let's take a look again on the materials needed for the nasogastric tube feeding procedure. And that's the way it is. I'm Gabriel Kabadin. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe everyone.